Time for Power Profile, sponsored by Salus Marineware. Cedo's shown some excellent growth in their share of the market across most categories of watercraft, but the one area they admitted to lagging behind a little bit was at the entry level where their GTI was. Well, they really focused hard in developing a new machine for 2011 to fix that issue. So this week on Power Profile, we're going to take a look at the new GTI SE130, just one machine in the GTI lineup. As you can see, everything is all new about this GTI SE130, especially its overall design. The goal that sea had here was to have showroom appeal at their base model when you walk into any dealer they've got across North America and the world, and I think they've done an excellent job. The layout and design and flow is what they're calling facet design. The other thing you'll notice when you compare in 2010 GTI to the 2011 is the lower look of the cowl, it's sleeker. The overall center of gravity right across the entire machine has been lowered by two inches for better handling. Now the other changes they've made on the boat are increased storage, which is quite massive, and they no longer have the tray there. Some other things they looked at with feedback from customers was to move the instrument pod and its new instrument pod forward so you had a better view, also a better view standing up. They've also incorporated standard mirrors, which is an excellent idea, and they have a variety of seat choices or options that are providing you with a better seating stance whether you're sitting or standing because they've got a nice wide flat base here with a lumbar support, but they've brought it in narrower here for a more natural stance sitting or when you're standing up. The other thing they've done is incorporated the grab rail, which is really comfortable, and they've sort of taken this from the snowmobile and ATV markets as well as some other machines, so your passenger has a good secure handhold whether they're sitting here or whether they've turned around for spotter duty if you're doing a little skiing. The other changes on the boat that are first noticeable, a little bit longer on the back deck, giving you more room on the back deck for getting on wakeboarding gear, but also it extends the hull for a little more stability. The other thing they've added to the boat is it now has, on this model, a standard boarding ladder. Now, the other really neat things they've done is their whole redesign of the footwell system, taking into account a more natural, even stance for your feet. So when you're running the boat, the old traditional boats had a flat base and a rough, sharp angle coming up for the footrest up here. Cedo on these particular GTI models across the family have made a natural curve all the way through so that when you're moving your foot from either the front sitting or back or standing, it's a natural spot with progression you can move your foot along. The other thing they've done is incorporate a little bit of a tilt or an angle into the footwell so when you're standing, you're standing naturally prone. Where the GTI SE 130 really shines is with the addition of IBR. Squeeze the left hand lever and the computer takes over deploying the reverse bucket and re-engaging the throttle to apply the desired braking action. ITC adds touring and sport modes like its big brethren. The SC model also adds variable trim system, or VTS, along with echo mode. In echo mode, the computer controls the rate of acceleration and cruise speed to cut fuel consumption. Turning off echo mode allows the GTI to hit a respectable 55 miles per hour. And yes, the GTI's hull is agile and tossable, simply a blast to drive. Now, in designing the GTI family for 2011, Sea-Doo set some pretty lofty goals. One was some real wow factor walking into the showroom. I think this watercraft has really got that. The other thing they wanted was excellent performance and handling, as well as some of the other features, for an entry-level machine. I think from an entry-level standpoint, from a value pricing standpoint, and all of the features here, sea has done an excellent job. We'll be right back after the break.